Hello everyone, this is Dr. Meghla, Associate Professor from Department of Genetic Engineering. I would like to welcome to the lab for the estimation of glucose by dinitrosalicylic acid method. Estimation of glucose by DNS method was invented by Miller in 1959 to estimate the reducing sugars in the given sample. Glucose, a reducing monosaccharide, is oxidized by DNS and the reagent gets reduced under alkaline condition. It is an accurate method to determine the reducing sugars and it is widely used in various fields like agriculture, food and health. The principle behind this experiment is that the aldehyde group in glucose is oxidized to carboxylic acids by DNS and simultaneously DNS gets reduced to 3 amino 5 nitrosalicylic acid under alkaline conditions. The color developed from yellow to reddish brown is measured at 540 nanometer. Even ketoses which have a keto group must tautomerize to aldoses before they act as reducing sugars. The materials required for the experiments were glucose stock solution and the concentration should be 10 mg per ml dinitrosalicylic acid reagent solution, potassium sodium tartrate solution, test tubes, water bath, and calorimeter. Let us now watch the video on estimation of glucose by DNS method. Coming to the protocol, take around 12 clean and dry test tubes and label it as blank S1 to S10 and the test tube for the test solution. In the test tubes labeled S1 to S10, take the stock glucose in the range of 0.1 to 1 ml. Then make up all the tubes with 3 ml of distilled water that is from blank to the test tubes. Now add 3 ml of DNS reagent to all the tubes and leave it for incubation at 90 degree centigrade for 10 to 15 minutes. After cooling the tubes, the tubes were added with 1 ml of 40% sodium potassium tartrate and the absorbance were measured at 540 nanometer. Results Plot a standard graph by taking the absorbance 540 nanometer in the y axis and concentration of glucose in milligram per ml in the x-axis. The standard graph will be obtained and you can all determine the concentration of the glucose present in the test sample from the standard graph. Thanks for watching the video.